is the least expensive moisturizer on the market the most effective? Welcome to Weird for Beauty. I'm Mark, and if you like to do weird things for beauty, and you're kind, stick around and be sure to like and subscribe to Weird for Beauty for all the fun content. Today, we're talking about something really near and dear to my heart, and that is a bargain. I love bargains. Love a bargain. And this is one of the best skincare bargains you're ever gonna find. This is the Ordinary's Natural Moisturizing Factors with Hyaluronic Acid. And this right here is 100 milliliters, that's 3.3 ounces. You can also get it in a smaller size, like a one ounce version. Um, but anyway, this is $7.70 for this big moisturizer, $7.70. Let's do a little comparison. Tatcha's Famous Water Cream is 1.7 ounces for $68. First Aid Beauty's Ultra Repair Cream for the face is $26 for 1.7 ounces. And Neutrogena's Hydro Boost is also 1.7 ounces for $21. Here, you're getting 3.3 ounces for, again, $7.70. And the smaller version is $5.60. Not only is this significantly less expensive, I'm going to tell you why it's also significantly better than most moisturizers on the market today. Now this is a thick cream. This is a moisturizer I love to use at night. You could also use it in the morning under your sunscreen, but it's a really good thick moisturizer. It's great for sensitive skin. It's great for irritated skin. You might have just heard my dog prancing around. Every time I film, my dog wants to get involved play with her treats, scratch on the door. It's like, this is impossible. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to show you this cream, actually. It's really thick. It's wonderful texture. Honestly, you can use it as a hand cream, and it feels so good. If you ever have dry hands, like, from all of that hand sanitizer. Oh, this is so good. Of course, it's unscented, and there's no funny business in it because that's the way The Ordinary rules. And if you didn't know, The Ordinary's parent company is Theseum. They also make Hylamide and Neod or Nyod products as well, but The Ordinary is their more affordable line. This formula offers non-greasy hydration. I can definitely attest to that. And it's a supplement of your impaired natural moisturizing factor components in your skin, which is made up of, I think, 11 amino acids. So if your skin barrier is doing really well, you've got a nice balance of those amino acids, this is going to mimic that and provide even more sealing and more moisture and bring it into the skin. It works great under your serums. You can mix stuff with this. You can put in your niacinamide with this, either mix it with it or, or under it. You can put your Retin-A on top of it or under it or mix it together. It's a really, really versatile product. So let's go through that impressive ingredient list again. You could look at the ingredient list of like a $200 moisturizer from La Mer, and the ingredient list would be like glycerin, perfume, more glycerin, more perfume. This is going to be way better than the $200 moisturizer for $7.70. I can't get over it. Love a bargain. Okay, here we go. First of all, we have caprylic triglyceride. Now, this is a gentle ingredient derived from coconut oil, which I know is controversial to some of you. But although I wouldn't put like plain coconut oil on my skin, some of these derivatives of coconut oil, when they're formulated the right way, can be great base um, ingredients in your foundation, in your moisturizer. So it's going to be great. It's going to help your skin retain moisture and prevent moisture loss. Next up, we have cetyl alcohol. Now, alcohol is also a controversial ingredient. Some people in the clean beauty movement, don't get me started, are just anti-alcohol altogether. That is silly. There are different kinds of alcohols, and cetyl alcohol is also one that is going to help soften and smooth the skin, and it's totally fine for sensitive skin. Next, we have propanediol. I'm not going to say all these ingredients correctly, you guys. And 
Propanediol is a hydrating ingredient. It helps with water retention, helps other ingredients absorb into the skin as well. Sterile alcohol is another good alcohol for the skin. Glycerin, of course, is a common moisturizing ingredient. It's a humectant that pulls in the moisture into your skin. And glycerin is really affordable. You're gonna find it in most moisturizers out there on the market today. Sodium hyaluronate, kind of like hyaluronic acid, is um, a derivative of hyaluronic acid, and it also helps to restore the skin's moisture. And we have arginine. This is an antioxidant ingredient. It helps to protect the skin from free radicals, increase skin hydration, it increases collagen production, and that's according to a dermatology review um, article. Then we have aspartic acid, and that's one of the 11 non-essential amino acids that the body makes on its own, and that's what's part of the natural moisturizing factors where this product gets its name from. And um, within the skin's uppermost layers, amino acids work as conductors, orchestrating an incredibly complex concert that allows your skin to thrive and stay hydrated according to Paula's Choice, who we love. So some other amino acids in this include glycine, alanine, serine, valine. All these amino acids are working together. They're helping to create an anti-aging powerhouse. When everything comes together, they support each other and they actually help each other do their job even better. So this moisturizer is super powerful and it has all these ingredients that like overnight you're gonna wake up, I guarantee you, your skin's gonna be plump. Some of the other amino acids include isoleucine, proline, threonine, his histidine, Phenylalanine, which that one's been studied to treat melasma, and that one again is phenylalanine. And um, then we've got glucose, maltose, fructose, and trehalose. These are sugar derived humectants, and they again draw in moisturizer and have antioxidant properties. Then we've got sodium PSA. This is an uncommon moisturizing amino acid, and PCA stands for pyrrolidine carboxylic acid, and it's an ingredient derived from amino acids that serves as a humectant and is part of the natural moisturizing factor. We've also got sodium lactate in this, which is a superior humectant and moisturizer with over twice the water holding ability than glycerin. This also has urea in it. It's a component of urine. Although synthetic versions are used in cosmetics. So this in small amounts has a beneficial water binding and mild exfoliating properties in the skin. Elantuin extracted from the root of the comfrey plant is a non-irritating ingredient that soothes and protects the skin as well and has the ability to heal the skin and stimulate new tissue. Linoleic acid helps the skin's barrier be stronger so it can effectively keep water in and irritants out to stay hydrated and healthy. It also helps to reduce acne breakouts. Oleic acid in this formulation helps to preserve other antioxidants and also helps to moisturize the skin. Phytosterol canola glycerides is a moisturizing and soothing ingredient and it has anti-inflammatory properties as well. Finally, not finally, there's more you guys. Oh, I said finally. Because there's more. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Palm, palmitic acid is one of several fatty acids used in skin care as an emollient or moisturizer. Steric acid is another fatty acid as an emollient and emulsifier and has been shown to protect the skin's surface for water loss. Lecithin is a phospholipid found in egg yolks and plants and it's widely used in cosmetics as an emollient, water binding, ingredient as well and has skin restoring abilities. Triolein is moisturizing and helps create a film over the skin to help keep the good stuff in. Tocopherol is known as an antioxidant and it's a superhero ingredient and it provides awesome protection for your skin while included in body care products. And there's a few other thickening and preservative ingredients in this that rounds it all out that are super safe and it's totally fine. So here it is. For under $10, or even around $5, you can have one of the best anti-aging, which we don't love that word anymore, plumping, moisturizing, antioxidant, 
powerhouse moisturizer that you can mix with all your favorite active ingredients or just use it on, your, on its own. If you're ever having an irritated skin day and you just want to like mildly cleanse your skin and moisturize it before bed, this is great for one of those nights off from your irritating actives like Retin-A or glycolic acid. Take a night off. Soothe your skin with a plumping, lovely moisturizer like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting Weird for Beauty. Be sure to check out the website weirdforbeauty.com and follow us on all the social channels. And of course, be sure to subscribe and like this video so that we can get going on the algorithm and, you know, maybe one day I'll get a sponsor.